Alright, bonjour à tous, Balosa here. Welcome to episode 43 of my Let's Play. And what do you know? It's day, and it's working. Awesome. Oh, lots of mobs. Working great. Really cool. So, thanks to Mormon Guild uh, on the Better Than World Forum, which helped me to understand what was wrong with this design, and it's simply that I needed to make my roof a bit longer. So I extended it five blocks. I had to use a lot of read for that, which is why I finished my... well, finished. Maybe I'll add some more floor, but that might be an overkill. So yeah, I finished working on that read farm to help improve the... Uh, well, the number of read I was getting, because I needed a lot. So let's get up there. Okay, there we go. So, now we have a big, weaker roof. Needed a lot because I had, well, I had, I decided to put half slab on top of it to prevent any monsters from spawning on top of it. Also, I removed my lava from my previous fail because, well, I don't want to accidentally unleash the lava and uh, destroy all of my vein trap. So, no more lava here. A big roof, which keeps the light level low enough so that uh, inside the mob trap, even during the day, I don't have a uh, problem spawning mobs. And I also had another problem. Mm, let's see over there. And it was that uh, all of that yellow wool was uh, glass before, and the problem is that my roof is made of alp slab, again to prevent any monster from spawning up here, even if there's light. Um, so the problem was that for the game that was an half slab, so not a full block, and here too, which was not lowering the light level, and uh, it that it had, uh, well, an access to the skylight and uh, that prevented the mob from spawning. No, that's not gonna happen anymore, which is really cool. Now, let's get to our task for today. Yeah! Oh shit. <laughs> uh, luckily, I had some new enchantment on my armor. Again, using the diamond armor now, so I had to make some more enchantment. I used the villager to get the XP quickly. We'll see that in a few episodes. And so I've got some feather falling, lots of protection, and even some respiration and fire protection. So, really cool armor for something in diamond. Even better than what I had. Uh, with my Sulfor steel. Mm, I dubbed here how I wanted to come from outside because I made something for the door. So let's pretend that I walked from the outside. <coughs> you didn't do anything. So la 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 la. Oh, look! The door is closed. But what the fuck should I do? Bam! Really cool. Loving this idea. That's uh, something that the an architect from the Better World requested a few months ago, and the first thing that popped in my mind uh, was to make it a door, which was why he was asking for a child to be able to rotate both of the panel on top of a turntable. And this way we can open it and close it by just moving the Siding. Okay, so today the plan is to uh, run some investigations on the filter system. Um, let's see what we got recently. Then mm, scrolls. So. Um, since it's been running for a while, I managed to get a few scrolls 
I got three blast protections, so lots of creepers, one projectile protection from the skeleton, and one smite from the zombie. And I got two bane of intropod, but these two I got them from my uh, um, spider spawner under my mansion. So, I want to make a full list of the different filters. As you can see here, we have a small setup with all the filters. The great, the weaker, the ladder, the great, no, the trapdoor, the iron bars, and the slats. So. And I have on me the bellow, because we're gonna use it as well. So. I'm gonna make a little bit of sign. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna take all of the items that the mobs can potentially drop. So some iron, spider eyes, the string, the rotten flesh, the arrow, the bone, the gunpowder, some iron stuff. Uh, I forgot to take the bow and uh, some few more things I'd like to test because I never did and that's the music disc, the ender pearl might be useful in your mob traps in mine they can spawn but we're gonna test it nonetheless mm, some fish and some food because I wanted to see what would happen to them uh, some flower because uh, I'm gonna use some filters for the iron golem farm so we are gonna uh, test the flowers and the iron ingots and leather let's get rid of that for now along with that um, and we can run our test so what I'm gonna do is throw mm, well one I can get rid of that as well. I need some more room. Don't need that. That, 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 that. Um, okay. So let's take the stuff uh, we are gonna get from our mock trap. Uh, that, that, uh, and uh, that's potentially the same thing. Here, yeah, two. And some scrolls. And after that I'm going to write on the sign which uh, item gets into the filter. So, we'll see. First, the uh, grate. With the grate we can get and the pearl, rose, the arcane scroll, the string, the spider eye and the can powder. Now let's move to the wicker. So, with the wicker, we only got the gunpowder and the spider eye. Now let's see the ladder. So everything goes with the ladder. You don't filter anything. The trapdoor now? So, with the trapdoor we get the scroll, the arrow, the string, the spider eye, the bone, the gunpowder, the rose, and the ender pearl. Let's go now with the iron bar. So, with the iron bar, we only filtered out the unstackable stuff, and we got everything else. And finally, the slats. With them, we only get the leather, the gunpowder, the string, and the scroll. So, now let's do one more test with the bellow. So I'm gonna quickly set up something, a little click. Okay, let's test this. So, a bellow, a simple, very simple clock out of redstone. We are gonna throw one item of each in front of the bellow. And I think I should only get the arrow. Not get too close. Let's see. Oh no. So gunpowder, arrow, and string. That's funny. I thought I would only get the the feather. 
but that's not gonna be a problem at all. So let's just quickly turn that off. And we said, let's put it here, arrows, gunpowder, and string, strength, the strength. Don't you know what strength is? Oh. Okay, so that's all of the thing I wanted to test about the filter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's make sure. Yeah, the only other one is the um, soul sand for the XP. And there was one thing I was wondering. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work. But um, wanted to see if anything doesn't get doesn't get into the crucible when it flows over. Let's test the sign while we are at it. Anything actually. Yeah. No reason not to. Okay. Grab everything back. Get rid of all of the mob drop. Give me back my stuff. Uh, that's mine. Mm -hmm, okay, no need for it. Oh, so maybe. Okay, so now that we know how to filter stuff, well, sort of, I'm gonna try to make my brain work and see how we can split out, split out all of the different stuff that we'll get from the mob trap. No more scroll? Nope. Okay, so give me a moment and I'll think about it. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Damn, sinking makes me feel hungry. Okay, so I finally got it. Here's a little board that helped me to do my thinking. So I usually do that on paper. I did it on paper, but I thought it would be cool to show you uh, the Minecraft version of that. So I just made... Uh, I have no idea how that's called. Uh, uh, damn, you probably can figure the world. The word... Uh, I can't remember it. Uh, the stuff you do with Excel. Come on, that's the. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, too much thinking for today. You'll tell me in the comments. <laughs> I don't remember. So yeah, I did that. Uh, for each item, we can see uh, in which filter it goes and which filter is being stopped by. So, for instance, let's take the arc and scroll. It will go into the grate, the ladder, the slat, the trapdoor, the iron bar, and uh, it will be stopped by the wicker and the bellow won't affect it. Ooh, lighting. Um, I also added the dung. I did a quick uh, run on dung because I have an idea. We are gonna talk about that later. Also made the ender pearl and uh, added the, the dragon orb, of course, which will be unaffected by all of the filter and will only go into uh, um, a soul sand filter. Damn, that's right in front of me. So, let's see how that's gonna work. So, I made again a little Minecraft version of uh, my paperwork so we're gonna start with the 10 stuff we can get from this mob trap that's the spider eye, the gunpowder, the string, the bones, the arrows, the zombie flesh, the dragon orb, the arc and scroll, the sword and by sword I mean all of the unstackable item uh, from the the raw drops, the rare drops, the bones, the, the armor, stuff like that and also the iron. So we are gonna run a first filter with a weaker and uh, that's gonna 
mm, filter down the gunpowder so only the gunpowder will go into the hopper and fall which means that all nine other uh, items will stay on top and the block means that that's ready to go into a chest for storage so first one filtered already the gunpowder then we use a second filter the slats and we only get down the string and the scroll I might eventually use a bellow to split the string and the scroll but uh, I'm not sure I will mm, we'll talk about that when I'm gonna build it uh, which leave us with the spider eye, the bone, the arrow, the zombie flesh, the iron, the dragon orbs and uh, sword armor and stuff like that. So we run another filter, the trapdoor, and this time it will split our item flow in two separate ones. So moving down in the filter we will have the spider eyes, the bone and the arrow. Then another filter, the grate, which takes the spider eyes away ready for storage and leaves us with the bone in the arrow on top which we're gonna filter out using a bellow. The bellow will only move the arrows and the bones will stay well uh, where they are and uh, ready to be stored same as the arrows. But on top of our trapdoor filter, we are going to be left with the zombie flesh, the swords and all kinds of armor, the iron and the dragon orb. So again, new filter, the iron bar, which uh, makes the zombie flesh go down, ready for storage, leaves us with the iron, the swords, the armor, etc. and the dragon orb. So we use a ladder filter, which keeps the iron and the sword mm, separate from the dragon orbs, ready to be uh, stored. They're gonna end up in the crucible because, well, let's write it down actually. We're gonna have the sword, the iron, the armor, and the bow, which will burn because we don't want it. So on top of the ladder, we only have the dragon orb, and we are left with our XP ready for storage in for now I'm gonna use a well lots of hopper with Sulsen we are gonna make some more tests in the next episodes about how much XP we can store <coughs> sorry how much uh, XP we can store in the Sulsen filter in the hopper and before we get into the header, into the actual building part of the filtering, I have two more tests that I want to run quickly. Uh, oh, more scrolls. Projectile protection 2, one smite. Mm -hmm. mm, cool. Nothing else? No. Well, that's not really cool. Duke. Okay, so I'm gonna need a bit of rotten flesh. The thing I want to test is uh, to actually incorporate, uh, incorpor uh, to actually add <laughs> either wolves. Uh, so that's gonna be a dunk farm into the filtering process. So I want to check two things first. Let's get it. This one up. One more block, uh, move a little bit. Uh. Thank you, doggy. Give me that back. So, can he get the food from two blocks above, like that? Mm, nope. I didn't thought so. And now I want to see something different uh, here. Uh, damn. No, I want to put it above. Hmm. I know. Here. Ah, crap. Okay. Same thing. Move a little bit. Uh, Luckily they have a big ass, so I can move them like that. Okay. 
And um, same thing. Ah, derp. I was afraid so. Mm. Let me test something else. Let's try it like this. So I've got the sticky piston and all the block, and I replaced all block around with full blocks. So when I'm gonna push it up, it's gonna be encased by full block. So let's make sure it's properly placed in the middle. Okay, that's good. Let's take that into glass so I can see. Hoping it won't change anything. And let's raise. Hmm, derp. I was afraid there was gonna there was gonna take some damage, but I've used an upside down slab. Uh, can you swim up? Or is he gonna drown? Come on! Up here! No, seriously? You can't swim up? <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, poor, poor wolves. You really are stupid, aren't you? So, nope. That's not working, that's too bad. Uh, I was hoping I could do it like that. That would have been cool to have my item flow on top and my mm, dunk farm below. So, well, let me run one more test then. Okay, let's see. That might be an overkill. It was a bit of a pain to get the water into position, so I don't know. I think that the water has been even a bit too close. Mm. Let's throw it from higher. Mm, derp. Yeah, it did get it, but um. The only problem I can foresee with that is that um, um, some of the dung might go away and <laughs> it looks a bit too much. I'm sure I can come up with something more simple. Yeah. Um, I'll see. Yeah, this looked much more simple, but as he just proved me a few seconds ago, that's not gonna get all of the dung. Um, if I enclose it like that, that's uh, enough to get, uh, well, most of it could even make it go higher. I don't know how high the dung gets. So something like that and I could probably help that a little by doing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about um, that? What? Wait, what? The fuck? Since when can you place torch on glass? Did I miss something? On the side? Nope. On top? Yup. Hmm, okay. I wasn't that aware of that. Funny. Okay, um... Need to get back up there. Um, wanted that. Do that. And that. And that. Um, that works too. Um, 
what happen if I move it? Hmm, nope, doesn't help. Hmm, fail. Hmm, <laughs> here not good um, I'm trying that because I don't know if the dung can end up here hmm, we're gonna assume it cannot so let's say that no more water Derp. This is my item flow, so let's assume that my drops are coming from here. You should get it. 60, so yeah, he did he hit because there was 62. We even hear the, the sound twice because he needed two to get his health back, probably because I hit it before. Not know if you heard the sound, so that works even if the item is further away on this side of the water stream, so that's okay. And uh, it means that I'm gonna probably add some uh, derp, well, some wolves into my water stream at this point over here so right after the iron bar I'm gonna have only the zombie flesh I'm gonna run it mm, well next to I don't know how many wolves mm, I've got like f four yeah two here and two down there that uh, I haven't been using and I've got uh, probably like 60 or 50 or 60 uh, a bit further in this direction that I prayed and uh, kept for something that uh, I gave up <laughs> about so um, I don't know maybe 4 maybe 8 mm, it depends on uh, if I can find a way to um, well make it go a bit longer without going down for every wolf. I'll see. But that's for next episode because I'm gonna make my episodes a bit shorter. 40-50 minutes is a bit too long especially given that uh, it takes forever for uploading my videos now so I'd rather make something a bit easier for me which means that I might be able to upload more video I hope. Anyway, let's take one last check. Uh, oh, nice. Smite and three more projectile protection, which makes us a total of um, 3, 10, 15. No, these two doesn't count. They are not from here. So, 13 Arcan Skulls dropped. Uh, there was uh, lots of half king, as you can see. I've already killed lots and lots and lots of monsters. So, I can give you uh, any rate on the drops for now. We'll make some more tests on that later. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, all of that uh, sinking and rumbling. I'm gonna uh, post the two images, this one and this one, uh, on the Betters and Worlds wiki and also in the description of this video they might help you if you're setting up a mod drop system and uh, for next episode we are gonna start building it uh, in music I hope so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed again and I'll see you soon bye bye that was Batasai